Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new topic of civil engineering material that is timber. First of all, what is wood? Wood is an organic material with fibrous, heterogeneous, and anisotropic texture produced from the tree, which is a living organism. Wood is one of the oldest building material. Or in simple word, the organic matter obtained from trees is called wood. Now the question is, what is timber? The term, timber, refers to processed wood which is a stage in the wood production process. Any wood which has the capability of yielding a minimum dimensional size can be termed timber. Timber is a naturally renewable resource that is non-toxic and is available broadly around the world. The wood which is suitable or fit for engineering construction or engineering purpose is called Types of trees Trees are classified into two groups depending on growth patterns. Number one is endogenous tree. Number two is exogenous trees. Number one, endogenous tree. Trees are the ones that grow inwards in a longitudinal fibrous mass such as banana, bamboo, plum and cane. Even though the stem of trees of this class is light and tough yet it is too flexible and slender to furnish material suitable for engineering works. These trees grow inwards and fibrous mass is seen in their longitudinal sections. Timber from these trees has very limited engineering applications. Examples of endogenous trees are bamboo, cane, palm. Number 2. Exogenous tree. The trees which grow in outwards across a horizontal section of the stem are called exogenous trees. These trees are fit for engineering construction. These trees increase in bulk by growing outwards and distinct consecutive rings are formed in the horizontal section of such a tree. These rings are known as the annual rings because one such ring is added to every year and these rings are useful in predicting the age of a tree. The timber which is mostly used for engineering purposes belongs to this category. Exogenous trees are further classified into two groups. First one is conifers or evergreen. Second one is deciduous. First one is conifers or evergreen. Second one is deciduous. Conifers. They show distinct annual rings. Conifers are also known as evergreen trees and the leaves of these do not fall till new ones are grown as these trees bear cone-shaped fruits. They are given the name conifers. These trees yield softwoods deciduous. They do not show distinct annual rings. Trees are classified into two groups depending on growth patterns. Number one is endogenous tree. Number two is exogenous trees. Exogenous trees are further classified into two groups. First one is conifers or evergreen. Second one is deciduous. The structure of wood visible to the naked eye or at a small magnification is called the macrostructure. If we look at a cross section of any tree, we will see the following parts, inside to the outside. Number 1 Pith. Number 2 Heartwood. Number 3 Sapwood. Number 4 Cambium layer. Number 5 Inner bark. Number 6 Outer bark. Number 7 Medullary rays. You can use the pH scale to remember the order of these layers. Number 1 is, pith. The innermost central portion or core of the tree is called the pith or medulla number 2. Heartwood. The inner annual rings surrounding the pith are known as heartwood. It is usually dark in color. It does not take an active part in the growth of trees but it imparts rigidity to the tree and hence it provides strong and durable timber for various engineering purposes. Number 3. Sapwood. The outer annual rings between heartwood and cambium layer wood it is quorn as sapwood. It is usually light in color and weight it indicates recent growth and it contains sap it takes active part in the growth of tree and sap moves in an upward direction through it. Sapwood is also known as laburnum number 4. Cambium layer. The thin layer of sap between sapwood and inner bark is known as the cambium layer. It indicates sap which has yet not been converted into the sapwood. Number 5. Inner bark. It gives protection of the cambium layer from any injury. Number 6. Outer bark. 
It consists of cells of wood fiber and is also known as the cortex number 7. Medullary rays, the thin radial fibers extending from the pith to the cambium layer are known as medullary rays. The function of these rays is to hold together the annual rings of heartwood and sapwood. Objectives Objectives Preservation of timber First, to increase the life of timber structures. Second, to make the timber structures durable. And third, to protect the timber structures from the attack of destroying agencies such as fungi, insects. Types of preservatives. The following preservatives are commonly used for the preservation of timber. Number 1. Arsenic copper treatment. Number 2. Creosote oil. Number 3. Chemical salts. Number 4. Oil paints. Number 5. Coal tar. Number 6. Selignum paints. Seasoning of timber. Fresh timber, which is obtained from trees, contains 60% sap or moisture. This sap is very harmful to the life of the timber. Therefore, it is necessary to remove that sap by applying some special methods. All those methods, which are used for removing the sap from timber, are collectively termed seasoning of timber. Advantage of seasoning, number one. It has reduced weight. Number two. It is strong and durable. Number three. It has resistance to decay or rot. Number four. It takes a high polish. Number five. It is easier to work, and number six. Its life is more. Types of seasoning. The main types of timber seasoning are as under. Number one. Natural seasoning, which includes water seasoning and air seasoning. Number two. Artificial seasoning. Number two. Artificial seasoning includes number one. Kiln seasoning. Number 2. Chemical seasoning. Number 3. Electric seasoning. Number 4. Boiling of timber. Water seasoning. Water seasoning is the process in which timber is immersed in water flow which helps to remove the sap present in the timber. It will take 2 to 4 weeks of time and after that the timber is allowed to dry. Well seasoned timber is ready to use. Air seasoning. Logs of timber are stacked one on top of the other in a shed is part of the process of air seasoning. Keeping a distance between the structure and the ground is required to achieve this layout. Therefore, the platform is constructed on the ground at a height of 3-300 mm from the ground. The arrangement of the logs allows for unrestricted circulation of air throughout the space between each log. Seasoning is the process by which the moisture content of timber is gradually reduced as a result of the passage of air. Even though it is a laborious process, the end result will be timber that has been well seasoned. Artificial seasoning of timber natural seasoning gives good results but takes more time. So, artificial seasoning of timber is developed nowadays. By artificial seasoning, timber is seasoned within 4 to 5 days. Here also different methods of artificial seasoning are there and they are as follows. Seasoning by boiling, chemical seasoning, kiln seasoning, electrical seasoning, seasoning by boiling. Seasoning of timber is also achieved by boiling it in water for 3 to 4 hours. After boiling timber is allowed to drying. For large quantity of timber boiling is difficult so. Sometimes hot steam is passed through timber logs in enclosed room. It also gives good results. The boiling or steaming process develops the strength and elasticity of timber but economically it is of heavier cost. Chemical seasoning. In case of chemical seasoning, timber is stored in suitable salt solution for some time. The salt solution used has the tendency to absorb water from the timber so the moisture content is removed and then timber is allowed to dry. Kiln seasoning. In this method timber is subjected to hot air in airtight chamber. The hot air circulates in between the timber logs and reduces the moisture content. The temperature inside the chamber is raised with the help of heating coils. 
When the required temperature is obtained moisture content and relative humidity gets reduced and timber gets seasoned. Even though it is a costly to process it, will give good results strength wise. Electrical seasoning. In the method of electrical seasoning, timber is subjected to high frequency alternating currents. The resistance of timber against electricity is measured at every interval of time. Electrical seasoning of timber when the required resistance is reached seasoning. The process is stopped because the resistance of timber increases by reducing moisture content in it. It is also called as rapid seasoning and